Well, John Carroll High School sophomore Lexi Tony will travel all over Europe this summer on a national lacrosse team. And that's just one of the many accomplishments for this young superstar. In sixth grade, Lexi Tony was your typical preteen. She didn't want to listen to her mom. I used to do karate before I played lacrosse, and I didn't really want to do it anymore. And my mom was like, well, you're going to play a sport, and I'm going to sign you up for lacrosse. I pressured her into playing a, a new sport, something that we had no experience with, and she fought me and complained and pitched a fit. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to do it just because you said I'm going to do it. And I said, you're going to do it anyways. And as the age-old adage goes, mom always knows best. Here we are, and she loves it many years later. By the end of the season in sixth grade, like, I loved it. It was so fun. Not only was it fun, but Lexi was dominant. Fresh off her sophomore season at John Carroll High School, Lexi has scored an astonishing 120 career goals. I say it's definitely an accomplishment. Like, I know a lot of people who uh, scored their 100th goal, you know, their uh, senior year, and it's like, ooh. <laughs> Lexi's hard work and success landed her a spot on the AIST national lacrosse team that will compete in Europe this summer. It's definitely going to be an experience of a lifetime. Like, you know, doing something I love while, you know, traveling is going to be so fun. Yeah, come on, Lex. Lexi is the only player from the state of Alabama to make the team and hopes the experience helps when college recruiting rolls around next season. I want to play for Vanderbilt. It has everything that I really like there. Um, I've been to uh, Vanderbilt and, like, I love the campus. Uh, it has a really great lacrosse program. It's a great school, you know, academics wise. Come on, Wherever lacrosse takes her, Lexi will never forget where it began. I have to remind her sometimes uh, when she says, well, you know, she gives me the lip. And I just said, you just remember who pushed you and made you play when you said, I don't want to play. Mom.